वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट होलसेलर्स एंड वी लेफ्ट फ्रॉम ब्रोकर एंड एजेंट एज वी वर डिस्कसिंग दैट ब्रोकर्स एंड एजेंट्स दे डू नॉट परचेज द प्रोडक्ट दे डू नॉट कीप द प्रोडक्ट विद दैम रादर दे ब्रिंग बायर एंड सेलर टूगेदर एंड दे असिस्ट इन द निगोशिएशन so normally agents represent buyers and sellers and they they perform the duty of middleman rather than purchasing the product and owning the product and selling the product after ownership third category is manufacturers sale branch and office there are some some Uh, branches and offices of the manufacturer which are also called wholesaling type this is this is uh, in 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 this category the services of buying or selling is purchased by the company sorry is done by the company and they do not hire any middleman on any third party for example factory outlet factory outlet is an example of manufacturer sale branch and office how, how do we make marketing decisions students how do company make marketing decisions in this in this case wholesale strategy and wholesale marketing mix first of all we will see wholesale strategy where wholesale segmentation and targeting is done then wholesaler will have to make some policies regarding differentiation and positioning and after that wholesale marketing mix where four p's will be there where they will make some assortments wholesale prices will be uh, will be decided then they will have to promote the product and then they have to distribute and they have to transport the product to the uh, to the uh, buyers and it will result in creating value for the target wholesale customer and these will be the activities these are the activities which activities will be done in order to capture value from the target customers next wholesaling marketing decision target market and positioning decisions first of all wholesaler will have to take he will have to see the size of the customers before getting into any business companies have to companies have to or wholesalers or any business has to see the size of the customer if the size of customer is handsome and ample then companies will try to take the risk of of purchasing the product for them and to offering product to them number 2 type of customer we will also have to see what type of customers they are and after looking at the after seeing the type of the customer then wholesaler will make marketing and positioning decisions and at the end need for service what kind of services are needed by the need of the customers are identified next it is marketing mix when we talk about marketing mix we have integrated marketing we have four p's product price promotion and place and we have discussed these four types again and again in very detail so we will not waste our time here then we will see some trends in wholesaling and we will see some challenges and some problems with wholesaling first problem is resistant to price increase 
when there is an increase in the price then the customers will when there is a price increase then customers will resist and customers will try not to purchase the product that's why there is a problem and this is the problem which is faced by the wholesaler when there is an increase in the price and the products are not sold and this is called basically when products are not sold or products are not bought by the wholesaler this will become very much difficult for wholesaler to survive number two fewer suppliers they are a very few supplier of the products and uh, this is again a challenge for the wholesaler to get transportation of themselves number three changing customer needs as time goes on with every with the passage of time after after years sometimes after years and sometimes after months the taste of customers change the requirement of customer change and as well as the need of the customers change so when there is change in the need of the customers then there will be problem for the for the wholesaler to sell the product which is in their inventory adding value by increasing efficiency and effectiveness so this is a challenge for a wholesaler to become very efficient to become effective in order to increase value so that's why that's why there should be full services given by the should there should be full services given by the wholesaler when full services are given by the wholesaler this will help them to survive otherwise there will be problem so this was all students this was all from uh, from week number 12 so inshallah we will meet you again uh, for uh, with week number 13 till then goodbye